Eyebrows are the tits of the face, really. If they're not good, then all your makeup is just not good. Hi, my name is Marta Michelle, and you guys are gonna get ready with me. It might be a little different than what you're used to because I have arthrogyposis. Basically, I have a lack of muscle and a stiffness of joints. So I do have a rough time getting dressed or putting on my makeup or brushing my hair, but I've just adapted and I've figured out how to do it for myself. Instead of a primer, I use a moisturizer. So this is a Clinique moisturizer. You can see that I'm lifting my arms differently than the average person. I lift my right arm with my left arm. I can't do it the other way around. So I unscrew that, and again, my hands um, are a little stiff in the joints, so it's a little hard to unscrew some things, and I definitely have to pay attention to that when I go and I buy my makeup. So I just apply this under my eyes. I do a little line on my nose. You know, the whole Kardashian thing. I love makeup. This is Sephora, and they make a spray freaking can of makeup. I'm gonna actually spray this onto my face, and I might get it in my hair, so don't judge me if I do. I just kind of rub it in. Doing my makeup is honestly like a workout because I'm using every muscle I have to lift my arms. And I see I use my head sometimes and I just hold the brush still. And it's kind of like a dance. The next thing that I use is I do my own version of contour, which I call it non-tour because it's not a contour. It's just a lot of bronzer. This is called Master Highlight by Maybe It's Maybelline. And I do a lot because I'm gonna later blend this all in. I do a lot. So the next thing I do is I take my Bare Minerals Matte Powder and I just put that all over my face. The next thing I do is I take the best thing again made ever for disabled people. This is blush in a bottle from Sephora. So I definitely need a countertop because you have to shake this. And I can't do this movement comfortably without a counter under my arm. But if I don't have a counter here, I do lift my arm like this and then I shake it like this. But it's a little more tiresome and I don't really prefer doing it that way. I just spray it and it's gonna make a dot. And I just kind of rub that into the apple of my cheek. And there you go, and a little, little plum berry. I don't know what that means. This is the same thing I used before, the Maybelline. And I just go into the crevices of the eyes and I definitely just move the brush like a rainbow. And then, this is what people laugh at me for doing. I go under the eye. When I get to the left eye, it's a little harder because I'm reaching. So I have to put both elbows on the counter and I lean in and I kind of go over the rainbow and I just kind of move my head more. So the left side's definitely harder than the right side, but I think I do a pretty darn good job. So next I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows, which is the hardest part next to eyeliner, especially for me. So um, I use the Anastasia, or Anastasia, which everybody uses. That's why I do my makeup in the sink because no matter what I drop, it's just there. I am gonna make every makeup artist so mad right now because I put so much of this on here. And then I pray to the eyebrow gods, let me do a good job. And I take my hands and I rest it on my left hand. And then I, I have to tilt. And it looks like it's gonna be so much, and it's cause it is. <laughs> I wish I knew how to do this when I was in high school because Marna did not know how to do makeup in high school. She had big brows, caterpillar brows, I'll tell you. And I kind of just draw on like fake hairs and I blend so it looks like I have eyebrows here. I just gotta do a quick shout out to my father right now who gave me the weirdest eyebrows. They're shaped like little caterpillar rainbows. And I just like go across. And does it really ever match? No. But do I act like it does? Yeah. I'm gonna name you Susan. You look good, Susan. You look good. And there you go, Marna's got brows now. They're more like cousins rather than twins. But I mean, Susan and Jeff look real good. This is eyeliner and it's yellow. I bought it because I was doing a photo shoot and the woman told me, be colorful. And I wear a lot of black and I'm like, okay, I'll be colorful with my yellow eyeliner. <laughs> well, who am I? Marna. And I love yellow eyeliner now. It's my best friend. And I just kind of swiftly apply it. Look at that. Oh man, I just, I feel so cute. Fierce Flex. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I love eyeliner pen. This one's really hard for me to open too, not gonna lie. You know what? We're gonna get real handicapped with this, guys. I'm gonna be vulnerable for you. You wanna know how I'm gonna open this? Ugh. Okay, we're gonna do both hands. I guess I can't do it. I got sweaty hands. I'm gonna brush them off. And then, I did it! We got this open. And then I just, swoop 
it's a little bigger than I wanted it to be. So now I just gotta commit to this size. Make it a little thicker. And you just gotta be brave. I take the Great Lash Mascara, and I definitely pride myself on being one of those people who just doesn't have to go, oh my god. I'm definitely excited that I know how to do makeup now. And it's not perfect. It's never gonna be perfect, but if I look in the mirror and I feel like I look gorgeous, I'm fine with it. I take my favorite in the world lipstick. The logo is gone. Frick Frack. Frickin' Frack. That's what it's called, Frickin' Frack. I like to do the inside of my lip first. And then I go to the corner and I swoop down. So I'm just gonna blend one more time after I apply all the eyeliner and the lipstick and stuff like that. I think it looks pretty good. And then I apply my favorite highlighter. This is by uh, Urban Decay, yeah. Naked. Like my motto with everything else, I don't care what people say, I'm gonna wear a ton of it. I pat it on. Oh, look at that glow dough. I'm gonna do this side. Next, I'm gonna do my hair. So I brush it all forward. I can't lift my arms up, obviously, so curling my hair, I do it very different. I use this little guy. It's so old, it's a Con Air Instant, and it's still got the clamp. And I just kind of grab a piece of hair with the clamp, and oops, and I turn it, and I kind of just hope for the best, really, honestly. And I have to do this a couple of times. I just grab big pieces, and it's never gonna be a perfect curl. I kind of brush it here first, and then I get on the top of my head, and I brush it all through, because the back is definitely someplace I can't curl it. And I try to find like that cute curl to show. And I juju, I juju it up. I feel so pretty. I feel like this is my look. People say, oh, you've got the Marilyn Monroe hair. How do you do it? And I'm like, I have no idea how I do it. But I just showed you guys. That is me and my morning routine of makeup and hair. And I hope you guys like what I did, because I love it. Next, I'm gonna show you guys my wardrobe and how I put on some pieces of clothing. Okay guys, so we're in my closet. I wear a lot of dresses, uh, loose fitting stuff. I like high waist jeans or leggings. That's my jam. A nice crop top. Oh my God, I love crop tops and flannel. I really like flannels. I am only four foot. Being in a wheelchair, it's um, a little different to wear clothes that are on trend. And sometimes I have to like really modify the clothing myself. So there's a safety pin up here and it's in the neckline of the shirt. So I do it for a lot of the collars. So my mom suggested I cut a slit up the back. And what that does is it loosens the whole tummy area, but it's still relatively tight up on the bosom. So you're still feeling feminine, but also feeling super comfy. And then you have this cute little like peekaboo in the back. Pregnancy jeans are nothing to be ashamed of. Why do you only have to wear them when you're pregnant? Jeans dig into the sides of you. And with this little extra piece that stretches for the pregnant belly, it makes it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable. My feet are very small, so high heels and wedges don't come in my size. So to feel like more adult and chic, I'll put on like a nice cute ankle boot and I can get those like anywhere. Like they make really cute kids ankle boots nowadays. So I have three of my favorites right here. I have this really cute soda shoe. It's open on the sides. It's got the cute buckle, the cute heel, which again, I feel super adult. Normally when I put my jacket on, I make sure not to have lipstick on, but that's okay. So what I do is I bend down and I bite the collar of the jacket. I do my mouth. And then I find the hole, and I get it in. There's one hand, and I kind of just throw it. And I get it hooked on the back of my chair, and then I grab that, and then I kind of just wiggle into it. And I make funny movements. And I do this in public. So I know that you saw a lot of things done differently today, and I hope that it will make you want to try out putting your makeup on different, or brushing your hair different, or putting on a jacket differently, because maybe you'll find the way it works for you, because I found a way it works for me. So you might have noticed Boldly is now as is. But don't worry, you'll still get all the same awesome content you're used to. Plus, even more new great stuff. Click to subscribe! Do it! Yeah! Right there! Yeah. Click Click it. It.